Hello filmmakers, Mr. Granlund here. I'm hoping to go through this news package slash short documentary project with you and help you understand or come up with some ways to make this work during distance learning. Now, I know a lot of you can't go outside. Maybe you have restrictions about how you can contact people through the phone and or whatever else. And I want to take a lesson from the actual news uh, because they're facing a lot of the same issues. Now, they're all adults. They can go into stores and things like that because they get to make those rules for themselves. Um, but I also wanted to look at an actual news broadcast about a topic that is near and dear to you, distance learning, and um, show you how the news, the actual news, actually sets it up. Okay, so we're going to watch the video, take a look at that, and then we'll talk through this sheet and maybe problem solve some ways that you can come up with some creative solutions. All right, so let's take a look here. Schools for the rest of the academic year. And we'll start with that one. Fox 9's Sarah Danik live for us tonight. And Sarah, distance learning will continue. Yes, it will. I really don't think this announcement, though, came as a surprise to anyone. Students, though, will continue to learn from home the rest of the academic year. Now the question is, will this continue into next school year? Okay, so they set up the overall problem. So actually, if you're looking at the worksheet, that's this introduction script. So you're just describing in a few sentences what the situation is. So she talks about the governor announces uh, that there's going to be distance learning for the rest of the year. It's not a surprise, um, but it's going to have some implications and here's some reactions of people reacting to that. So it's just her talking into the camera, kind of like I'm doing right now. That's her first shot. And she's just describing what the situation is. Okay, now we're going to go into kind of a section of B-roll and interviews and things like that. The Awusu Afriye family has hit their school at home stride. The first week wasn't very pretty, but after that, I think we've done a good job. Sainu and her husband are working from home and working to help their three kids keep up with schoolwork. It's hard for me because I do miss my friends, but it's kind of it's kind of the same because we do the same work at school. It's a pattern they've settled into, and it's a good thing since this is the way it'll be for the rest of the school year. I'm really good with that announcement. Uh, truthfully, I was hoping that that's what it would be. Governor Wall uh, saying today distance learning will continue, possibly into... Okay, so you can see that the reporter is kind of flipping back and forth between, um, well, first of all, introducing who the people are you're going to interview. So before you interview someone in your video or your package here, you're going to say, hey, this is the person I'm going to interview. This is the maybe situation or context of what they're going through in this situation. And then you, you know, ask them the questions. And if you notice, the questions that they answered were really, really short. So they just, the people they interviewed only said like a couple of sentences. Now, the interviewer might have asked them the whole 20 questions here. And you may get freaked out by this list of 20 questions. It's, first of all, it's okay if this is not 20 questions, okay? It can be 10 questions and that's okay. But what you need to do is you need to think through like all the kinds of questions that might be helpful around your topic. And you want a nice long list because you don't want to be sitting there in a conversation with the person that you're interviewing and being like, uh, uh, what do you think? now you know it's you want that conversation to keep going and when you have thought about that conversation beforehand it goes better the other thing you're noticing about the interviewer is they kind of jump in the middle and they're just doing a voiceover while some b-roll is going on so they're the interviewer the, you in this case um, will be talking about and describing the things that the viewer is seeing so list of b-roll so it might be a house it might be a phone it might be be students on computers it might be the governor addressing you know doing a news address it might be any number of things and so one thing that might help you with this b-roll is actually just pulling up videos on your screen and then filming those videos with your phone 
so that you can kind of get a context. So like if you're referencing something about distance learning in Minnesota, uh, maybe you take our superintendent's address and when our superintendent kind of addresses everyone from their channel, maybe you um, just grab that video from your phone here. Maybe it's the governor talking about a little snippet from the governor talking about how students are not going back to school this year and you just like find the video and you just record it right here and plug it into your thing and that would be a b-roll thing so gov you know the description would be the governor addressing the state location you know it might be youtube or something um so those are some th ways to get that done Okay, let's keep watching. The answer is I don't know yet on this fall. There's no guarantee that things are gonna be back to normal, whatever whatever normal is at the start of September. So how do we continue to reinvent ourselves? Okay, so here they're doing another interview of a person and that's been another question that people have. So how can I do interviews if I can't leave my house? Um, I would say, first of all, you can interview your friends. Your friends are good sources for information. Your friends' parents, um, your own parents. Uh, if you have siblings, you can talk to them. If you can get outside and talk to neighbors, you can talk to them and you'll have to stay, you know, six feet apart. But now let's say you can't do that. You can call and do a FaceTime and like do a screen record of the FaceTime. You could also just have the phone sitting there and record the audio of it. And then while the audio is playing, um, like you could record the audio of the, your conversation with them. And then when you're putting that in the, your video, you can have like pictures that kind of describe uh, those things or maybe video things that describe. So more B-roll while that person is talking. You could even have just like a still picture of that person um, on the screen while their audio is going from the phone, if that makes sense. Okay, let's let's watch some more. School districts like Shakopee Public Schools are learning their own lessons on adaptation, even finding some surprises. There's actually been a few shining moments where kids who really were struggling with in-person school have actually stepped it up about three notches in distance learning, and they're more connected and more engaged. The state acknowledging more work will need to be done when students eventually return to the classroom. There are going to be some academic standards that we're going to need to address next fall. But school leaders say they're up for the challenge. I have this calm within me, and it comes from the people in our community, it comes from our students, it comes from our staff, because I believe in them. And the governor says more will be released tomorrow on expectations and plans for this extended distance learning. He's expected to talk about that during his press conference tomorrow afternoon. Randy. All right. And then at the end of your news report, you have kind of a wrap up and sign off. So you're just kind of summarizing um, maybe a couple of final thoughts about your thing. You might actually script that out and just, again, speak that into the camera. And that would be the conclusion of your news report. Now, um, it's okay to try and be bold. Um, you might be able to get people to send you videos of them answering their questions. So you can, you know, email people, be like, hey, can you take a video of yourself answering these five questions about this topic? And then they'll, you know, sit there, they'll do the, you know, record themselves answering those questions and they might send it back to you. And then you can use that video in your report. And if you want uh, help, if you want footage from me about certain things, uh, we can try to do that. I can't promise that I'll be able to get to all 25 of you um, to be able to do that, but we'll see what works, okay? Um, you can also ask your other teachers to do this. Your teachers are also able to make little videos and send them out to you. You might be able to get their perspectives on things. Um, it should be easy to eat easy to email them and get videos from them since they're a good trusted source they're also pretty good experts so if you have like a science question asking a science teacher would be an excellent thing to do all right filmmakers i hope i've given you some ideas about what you can do uh, for this news package it's going to be between one and three minutes long uh, you're going to have an introduction script where you do you have a voiceover section you should have some interviews you should have some B-roll and 
try and make it interesting. Uh, try and tell a story about something that's happening in life, something that impacts you, something that might impact everyone. Okay? Um, I wish you the best of luck, filmmakers, and have a great Titan day.